Now, if you want to calculate a year-end grade, a year-end result from a set of assessments or exams or a combination of both, this tutorial will tell you how to do that very easily using a spreadsheet. And I've got a fictitious uh, list of students here behind me and I put in some results for them. And in a couple of cases, there are a couple of blanks, maybe where a student didn't show up for a test or something like that, but that won't matter. It won't have a bearing. Um, we'll still adopt the same strategy to get our year end result. Now, my students are going to be marked on the basis of four things they did. Uh, three tests, main tests, one in October, one in December and one in April. And then they did five small little class tests. And uh, that's the fourth component. And I'm going to give a weighting to each of the four uh, components. That's the key here that each one of these uh, sections, if you like, that will um, contribute to the year-end result will have its own weighting. I'm going to give the class tests up in this box up here. I'm going to type in 15%. That's what I'm going to give to the, the class test. Five tests, 3% each. And then the October test, I'm, I'm going to go to the next box and I'm going to give that October test a weighting of 20%. And I'm going to give their, their, their December test a weighting of 25%. And I'm going to give their Easter test a weighting of 40%. And if I add all of those together, uh, they will tot up to 100%, and that's uh, important. Now, um, I know it's 100% if I add them together, but just to be careful, just to be sure, I'm going to type an equal sign and the word sum in a spreadsheet, which means add up something, and then I'm going to open a left bracket, so equals sum left bracket, and then I'm going to click the four cells and drag across and then I'm going to type the closing right bracket and press my return key and I get 100% across here. Now it looks a bit unwieldy here with the decimal places so I'm going to select the five cells and I'm going to click this little icon here which reduces the number of decimal places so that they will just look clean like that. Now uh, let's take a look just at one student Joe Blogs here. Let's just take a look at one student and, and see exactly what we're going to do if we were working on pen and paper. So this is Joe Blogs here now and if we had pen and paper here what we would be doing is the first thing we would need to do is we would need to calculate we, his average. We'd need to sort out the class tests. We have to get an average of these five here. And how do we come up with this 80? Well, we would just uh, add up the five numbers if we were working on pen and paper. We would add up the five results and divide them by five and that would give us 80. Now we're not going to do that. We're going to get the spreadsheet to do that hard work for us. And then when we've got our four grades here, the four colored components that are going to contribute to the end year end result. We would have to take each of those four components. In the first case, we would get 80% of 15%. That would give us 12. And then we would get 71% of 20%. That would give us another 14.2%. And then we would get 79% of 25%. And then we would get 75% of 40% for the Easter. So that's the proportion of the red marks that would have to be added together to give us the year end result. And then we would add those four numbers together, 12 and 14.2 and 19.75 and 30. And then that would give us our year end result. Now that's how we would, that's the logic behind it. And we're gonna get our spreadsheet now to do that job for us. So the first thing we need to do is go into this box here and get the average for Joe Blogs. And we'll just cal do the calculations for Joe Blogs and then we can replicate the formula down through the, down for the rest of the students. So I'm going to type equals average. And then I'm going to open a left bracket and I'm going to click drag across these five results equals average and then click drag across and the spreadsheet will put in the cell references automatically and then I'm going to close the right hand bracket and press my return key and 80 is the average of Joe's five tests there. And now, so I've got my four results now for Joe, I, he, my class tests result, my October, December and April four results. And if I wanted to get to calculate uh, uh, for the, our year end now, 
we're going to, uh, it's going to, the formula is going to be a little bit long, but we only have to do it once. So in here, I'm going to type equals, and I'm going to the open a left bracket, and I'm going to tap this 80. So there's my 80, and I'm going to multiply it by this 15%. That's what we did when we looked at the logic a moment ago. And multiplied, and a spreadsheet is an asterisk symbol. So I'm going to uh, 80 asterisk, and then I'm going to tap this 15% up here. And now I have to do one thing. I have to press the F4 key on my keyboard to lock onto that. 15%. Uh, now I pressed F4 and it put in these dollar signs which locks onto that gray, that red mark because I'm going to be coming back and back and back to that red mark for all of the students and to lock it down I have to press F4 to put in these dollar signs which turn it into an absolute cell reference. Now I'm going to close the right hand bracket so that's the class tests part looked after. Now I'm going to add on a plus and an open left bracket, 71 asterisk and then 20. And then again, I'm going to press F4 to lock onto this 20%. I'm going to close the right hand bracket, press plus, press left bracket. And now I'm going to my December grade here. I'm going to tap it and then my asterisk. And then I'm going to tap the 25%. And then I'm going to press F4 to lock it, close the right bracket. Then I'm going to do my, that's uh, uh, the first three parts looked after, one, two, three. And now I've got the fourth one for the April. And again, I'm going to press a plus, open the left bracket, tap 75, but asterisk, and then I'm going to tap the 40, press F4 to lock it, and then close the right bracket. So this is somewhat unreally looking formula. You know, we only have to do it once for Joe Blogs and then we can replicate it all the way down through the spreadsheet for the other students. So this first part is the class uh, portion of the 15%. The second part is the uh, October portion of the 20%. This third part is the December portion of the 25%. And this part is the April portion of the 40%. And when we press our return key, we get 76 as the year end result. Now we've just put in two formulae there, one to calculate the averages and one to calculate the year end. And when we go back into this uh, box here for the averages, we'll see a little blue square down in the bottom right corner of that box. And if we double click that blue square, one, two, it fills down the averages for the class tests for all the students. And when we go to the year end, we go back into the box for the year end result for Joe. And again, we double click this little blue square in the bottom right hand corner, one, two, and it fills in the year end results. And they are our final year end results for the students. And that's it, that's, there. that's done, that is the final grade based on the assessments and the tests that the students have done during the year. Now down at the bottom we have put in a student test, a test student there. And just to make sure that everything has gone according to plan and that our calculations are correct, we just run a little test. Now the test student has been given 100 marks for everything. So as we would expect, his average in his um, uh, uh, assessments was 100 and his average in his tests was, was 100. But supposing we, uh, his, each of his tests, the, the five tests made up 15%. So each test was worth 3%. So as a little test, let's take that 100 away and replace it with a zero. That would mean that he would lose 3% of the 15% and his overall grade now would become 97%. So when I press return here, I, he's, and now his, class, his average in his assessments has gone down to 80% and then he has lost 3% of his overall grade as we expect. So the test has worked out, everything was correct and our formulae are correct. And these are our year end results based on a data set of assessments combined with tests.